This is gonna be a lot easier than you think. So recently people had asked me, Eric, how do you do your TikToks? Do you edit them? Do you just record them? I actually have a special way that I do my TikToks, but this video is going to consist of two main parts. Okay, guys, the first part is going to be literally just setting up OBS Studio for your TikToks. Now, I have a special way of doing it, but I am going to get to just the very rudimentary way of doing it. What the video dimensions need to be what I suggest for video bitrate. Now, the first thing you guys are going to notice, I know that you guys are gonna say that this doesn't look like OBS Studio. It's OBS Studio, guys. I just have custom browser docs because when I'm streaming, I use one of the browser docs to probably monitor the stream. And then the other side, in case I gotta open something else up or get into my settings or whatever, what have you. Now, this is the important part, guys. This is the preview pane editor. This is where you're gonna be setting up the video dimensions and the bit rate and everything for your TikToks, guys. Okay, let's get into settings. The very first thing you're going to want to do is go into your output and your recording. We're not going to talk about the streaming tab at all because you're not doing any streaming to TikTok from LBS Studio. That's a completely different video. We're going to go into recording. First thing you're going to do is set your recording pad. I save mine to my OneDrive because I like to access those clips from wherever I am. And if I want to upload them from my PC, my, you know, any of my desktops, my laptop, my iPad, whatever, I can do it from there. Recording format, I suggest MP4. I've not tried AVI and MKV. I'm pretty sure they would work. But just to be safe, let's use MP4 because I know that that's a file format that TikTok recognizes. As far as encoder, I'm using the Intel QuickSync H264 encoder. And I'm only using that because I have an Intel Core i9-9900K and it can more than handle it. Now, you can use whatever you want, whether you want to use the X264, which is the software, if you want to use QuickSync, which would be if Intel, your Intel chip has a built-in GPU on it, or you can use the NVIDIA NVENC, um, they're all there for you, or if you have an AMD card, it would just say AMD or AMD H264 or 265, it really doesn't matter, as long as you know that the encoder works and you're golden and we can go move on to the next thing target usage i do quality high profile keyframe interval at two control bit rate that's what cbr stands for for rate control i use a bit rate of sixty thousand guys but again i'm using a core i9 9900k if yours is like a core i5 or something do like you know 10,000, 20,000. move this number up and down depending on what's comfortable for your computer some of you guys are going to be doing this on one computer some of you guys are going to be doing this on a dual pc setup i don't know i'm only showing you guys how to set it up and and get you started okay latency normal and i use max b frames of two now if you are using obs studio only to capture your tiktoks and you're not a streamer you're not doing anything like that turn your replay buffer on you're going to want to enable this and you're going to want to capture it for as many seconds as you want whether it be 20 30 up to 60 um as far as i know tiktok does three minutes now i don't know that you want to upload three minute video game clips because most video game clips are pretty dry that's why we're doing the highlight once you enable the replay buffer you will see an extra button appears here it's gonna say start replay buffer and go to your hotkeys assign a key guys the replay buffer is not gonna start by itself assign a key let's just say for example q so i said okay q you can use the same letter for start and stop Hit Q, boom, my replay buffer has started. Hit Q again, it has now stopped. Now, what you also wanna find is save replay. Whether you're doing this from your stream deck or your keyboard, it doesn't really matter. Now, the reason this is important is because when you hit that key, it's going to save the last 30 some odd seconds or whatever time you set your replay buffer to on your hard drive. Now, this is potentially one of the most important things. You're gonna go here into your video tab and you are gonna more than likely have a resolution that's like this, okay? And the reason you have a resolution like that is because most monitors, most people use their monitors in this orientation, which is a rectangle, right? But TikTok, as we all know, the videos are oriented this way. So since we're orienting it this way, you have to actually flip those two numbers, okay? So I stream and record at 2560 by 1440, but 
you're not going to be able to find a resolution like that. So you're going to have to do this manually. So if you're doing 1920 by 1080, okay, let's say you're going to see it like this 1920 by 1080. That's what you're going to see more than likely if you're doing 1440p it'll be 2560 by 1440 but you want to record it in 1080p the other way so what you would put is 1080 by 1920 and then you're going to do the same thing down here for those of you who are doing anything else whether it be 2k 4k um i do 1440p which is 2560 by 1440 so we put the smaller number first guys so that you're essentially flipping it over okay so i'm going to do 1440 by 2560 and i'm gonna make sure i do the same thing down here okay by 2560 then tab it out hit apply and you're done when you guys look you will notice that your preview pane has been changed to this portrait mode the very last thing that we're gonna do as far as showing you guys how to get the webcam and get the gameplay in the same scene was a little tricky but i did figure it out so what I did was the replay, you're going to have to find it. Okay. You're going to have to go into that directory that you set up, whether it be wherever it is, your C videos, or if you have an external hard drive or an internal hard drive, everybody has something a little bit different. That's up to you to figure out what directory it is that you need. Find the recording that says replay recording. Now, this is what it'll say by default. If you've gone into your advanced settings and you've changed this up, then it's not so much going to work. Now I took this, this video and I dragged it in here. Now, obviously, the majority of the left and the right of this are going to be out of the scene but on TikTok, all you see is the long way right so we need to make sure that this is perfectly in the center now you can see my webcam and you see my webcam up here too right i'm going to show you how i did that i just put the clip here i right clicked it i found where it says transform and i say center horizontally however how do you get the webcam up there on top so now essentially all we have to do is add another source so now when we look at what source we need to add we're gonna say media source okay and we are going to put in the instant replays add instant replay and say okay now you guys see how it has a whole thing up here and it added it it's kind of funky doesn't look right this is what you're gonna do you're gonna hold the alt key and you are going to drag down until everything else is clipped out of the scene we're gonna do it like this this is how i did it for me and we are going to go ahead and go up a little bit and then we can stretch it out so then we you guys will see the green and the red lines if you see green lines that means you're doing it right hold alt down first okay bring this over here okay i need to crop a lot more out now now that we got it the majority of the way done right click this hit transform and fit it to the screen now that you fit it to the screen you see that there's still a lot more we need to cut out so we can just keep doing that and there we go so now we're gonna go ahead and drag this up top and you guys can see that is how you put it on and then on the bottom add another media source we will add the existing instant replay and we will just put this down here like this stretch it out to the height of your webcam right click it transform center it horizontally and there we go you have a working functional high definition tiktok replay in the proper format which will no doubt get you more views because it's easier to see people can see your webcam better people can see your gameplay better and it matches the orientation that tiktok prefers Guys, it has been an absolute honor. I'm glad to do this for you guys. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I love helping you guys out in any way that I can. As I always tell you guys, be safe, be good, be blessed, and I'll see you guys when I see you, man. Peace.